Hello again, Fizzles family and friends. This is the pastoral message for Saturday, August 28th. And being a Saturday, we're continuing with our Saturday series of meditations on the Psalms in the style of a UCC still speaking daily devotional. And so I invite you to read the Psalm in your own Bible, then watch and listen to my meditation on that Psalm. And then if you choose to go ahead and read the Psalm again, with the meditation in your mind as you read. This week we're up to Psalm 43. The title for the meditation is Never Give Up Hope, and the focal verse is Psalm 43, verse 3. Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. And then here is the meditation. In this week's psalm, we again find the psalmist in distress and wondering why God seems so far away. Actually, this is likely the same author as last week's, and Psalm 43 appears to be a continuation of Psalm 42. The author even repeats the last verse of Psalm 42 to conclude this week's psalm. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. The psalmist still feels his enemies and God's enemies pressing on him and making his life miserable. He longs for God to free him of these enemies so that he can travel to Jerusalem and worship God in the temple there. There in God's house, the psalmist will find great joy and will sing God's praises. To bring the psalm more closely into our context, we may not have physical enemies challenging us, but we may have pressures of life that seem to work against God's plans for us. We may have times when God seems far away or when we feel God might have cast us off. But in those times, we should take heart from the author of this psalm and those of similar psalms who, despite great difficulties, do not give up their hope in God's deliverance. They clung to the hope that God would yet send out God's light and truth and lead them home. It was for them, as it was for them, so it is for us. God will come through and we will yet live in God's brilliant light and know God's eternal truth. God will lead us home. Just never give up hope and God will lead us home. In our prayer, God of light and truth, help us to always feel you near to us. Help us to know that you will never cast us off. Lead us home. Lead us home that we may sing your praise. In hope that is eternal, we pray. Amen. I look forward to seeing you in worship tomorrow. We'll have live worship in the sanctuary, followed at 11.30, live worship in the sanctuary at 10, followed at 11.30 by our devotional Zoom. We will have, following the sermon in our worship service, our fifth Sunday service of healing, and so I invite all who wish to come for a special healing blessing to come to the service. And... Also remember that it's the final Sunday of our Fizzles Feeds 5000 food drive. And so please bring your food, food contributions or contributions of personal care items that will be donated to the well. And we will have a final tally of our contributions this year, next week. I look forward again to the week ahead, to being in prayer with you throughout that week, throughout the coming week, and then even next week, join you on our first Sunday in September for worship and Holy Communion. Until we see each other again, stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong, and I know that God is continuing to bless us all. Goodbye for now.